Hey guys, I am about to head to the post office to go get my Art Journal of Quarterly subscription box, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of what it looks like outside my house right now because it is bananas weather. Look at this. Snow, 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 more snow. Well, we made it back from the post office. <laughs> there were a few slippy slidey moments. I've been driving in deep snow like this for many, many year years, so it's okay. Having said that, there weren't many people out and about in town, <laughs> but this YouTuber's got to do what this YouTuber's got to do. And bonus, the Sticky Club order was there as well. So I think we'll start with that one. And sometimes I do craft with me's along with these. Um, I don't think I will this time, but I might save it for a future video when I do more of Marguerite's prompts for junk journaling, etc. Let's see. Our theme this month is birds and butterflies. Okay. I like this already. I almost always have butterflies in my junk journals that I make. As Louisa Heinzel said, a butterfly can fix anything. We have two cute little stamps, a butterfly and a bird. And we also have a little notepad with some butterfly stationery. Oh look, there's a little froggy on this right here. And it appears we have all the same print on them. There's another look. And now we get to the bigger sticker sheets in the back. So we'll use this envelope to maybe help with the see-through ones. This just has tons of butterflies. Very cute. Let's see if I can say it like Joshi would say. Cute. No, I can't say it like her. <laughs> Joshi, um, from Joshi Corinne, Jess, um, my favorite bullet journaling YouTuber. And I was thinking about her today because we do have the Art Journal of Box. These are really beautiful. We have just little scenes with birds. Some more birds here. Those are kind of watercolory, I think. I like that. And some more birds. There's a little owl holding a key in its mouth. This one has a black background and we have some moths and dragonflies and there's a couple birds down there. Out of the corner of my eye I just saw a little bird land on a twig on my back porch. The poor thing's probably confused. Like, I thought it was going to be warm here. Oh look, here's a cute little bookmark. Some birds in a tree and there's a little like a uh, leopard down at the bottom. Am I saying the right cat name? That, that's a leopard. Cheetah? Something? And there's a badger at the bottom of this one on the back side. We have two sheets of this. This is just strips of uh, butterflies. And then last one, some more birds. Those are gorgeous. Little bits of foiling here and there. Now it is on to the Archer and Olive box. This is a quarterly subscription box. They do have a monthly subscription that's more like stickers and, and that kind of stuff to use in your bullet journal. And then the quarterly box usually has at least one actual journal along with some really good goodies and things. I subscribed to the quarterly box for a while and then unsubscribed and then resubscribed because I just wanted more bullet journals. <laughs> So let's get into this one. I've been really careful to try to not see any spoilers online. And uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's the actual decorated box. It's beautiful. This says, a quiet walk outside. Feel the ground beneath your feet and observe the plant life all around you. Well, I'd like to. <laughs> but it's all covered in snow right now. Um, imagine all they have felt, seen, and heard. If only they could tell you their stories, no matter the season, there is life to breathe in and messages along your path. It's up to you to realize and record these notes from nature. The plastic is now off the box, and we're ready to open her on up. 
Oh my goodness. We have a whole bunch of stuff. I think we're going to set the box to the side and I'll grab things and move them in frame because that's going to be easier for you and easier for me. So we have this card here. It says notes from nature, which is obviously the theme of the box. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Henry Matisse. And it looks like there's going to be some spoilers here. So we'll set that off to the side. And let's grab the first box here. It says decorative tape set of four adhesive paper tapes they've got to be pretty wide oh my goodness yes they are oh my goodness these are gorgeous okay let's take a look here I need something to give some good contrast look at that that's beautiful that's got a little like clip on it there and then it starts to repeat. So about this length until we get to a repeat on the design. Holy cow. Another quite long one until we get to repeat. So we see the blue butterfly in that circle right there. And we go all through these flowers and different things until we get to that same bit again. These are so vintagey looking and beautiful. I love them already. So these could be used for bullet journaling or junk journaling or both. I am excited. Okay, so we start with some flowers down here and the music. More vintage papers, more flowers. And there is where it repeats again. And the last but not least, this one is stunning. For some reason, this is, like, making me think of Gatsby. Maybe it's the gold and maybe the slightly Art Deco, like, look of it. I don't know. But we've got all these florals in frames. And looks like these are all the separate ones that you get. So quite a few different flowers. All right, we'll pop them back in the box. Already, we are off to a great start. Um, there's so many things in this box, you guys. I, I don't know where to go next. And I also don't know where to put this stuff. <laughs> My desk is a little bit chaotic. I'm in the middle of a, a journaling project for Janie. If you're watching Janie, hello. You can't know what I'm doing. <laughs> she already knows that. I mean, it was her idea for us to not know what each other were making for the, the most recent swap we're doing, but anyway, hi, if you're watching, um, <laughs> we have a fountain pen. I'll be honest. I love fountain pens. When I was in high school, I used fountain pens all the time. And I had, um, a, kind of a phase a couple years ago where I was using fountain pens a lot at school and I had a student who was in love with them too. So I, I promised him that if he, um, earned one, I can't remember, something to do with his grades, I'm sure, or something, that I would get him a fountain pen, and he did. And how did he repay me? By transferring to our rival school. <laughs> That's okay, it's a better fit for him. Um, I was going to show you the nib, and it doesn't want to come out, so let's see if we can screw the barrel back on and get the nib out. Aha! Ooh, that's a really nice end on that. Very cool. Moving on to this next item, which is fountain pen ink. It says three bottles. This is also very exciting. Oh, we've got colors. So we have this gorgeous blue and then a teal and kind of a limey green, maybe not quite lime, maybe a little more darker more darker English teacher up next we have some acrylographs these are water-based acrylic and these are fun 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 to play with you do have to shake them up quite a bit and Jess in one of her videos did something really smart like I don't know why I've never thought of this you shake them up while they're still in the box so they have the colors listed yay we have calla lily antique ivory shady lane English clover and deep ivy
So you can see that I did the classic mistake of pressing too hard and spilling out ink, but here we have Calla Lily, which is kind of like a warm grayish color. Antique Ivory, which is a little bit of like a soft, not quite mustard, but like almost like a Dijon, Dijon mustard-ish, maybe? I don't know. This one, Shady Lane, reminds me of like khaki army kind of stuff. English Clover is a, a dark teal, kind of. And then Deep Ivy, this is very, very, very dark teal. I really like all of these colors. Um, I do have a specific pencil case for my acrylographs, which is this right here, and they will be popping in there shortly. We have this lovely box next, and I don't, do we slide out? Do we open? Do we, what do we do? I think we're supposed to slide out of the sleeve, but it doesn't want to come out. Okay, ooh, we have a ruler. This is really lovely. Looks like a 15 centimeter ruler, and this side is embossed so you can feel the texture of it. I do like that it's transparent. My bullet journaling ruler that I use, I absolutely love, but it would be like that much better if it was transparent. So this will be handy to stick in my bujo bag. Here we have a sticker set. This is two sheets matte finish. And let's take a look at the sticker. Oh, there's this one of those circle thingies. Oh, okay, so both sheets are the same, and we have a bunch of sentiments and flowers. Let's see, nature's magic is all around, rooted in nature, map your journey, forest of ideas, nurture your plans, wild, and so on. Those are very nice, and you know, I love to use little sentiments in my journaling, especially in my junk journals. Now we're on to this. I think we have three journals in this box, which is amazing. At least I'm predicting that based on the three boxes we have left. They all look like journal boxes. So this looks like maybe a B6. B6, haha. -ha. I am a good predictor. Okay. Boxes, gorgeous. Ooh, yes. Look at this green beauty. I'm going to zoom out a bit here so you can see. Gold foiling all over the place with leaves and leaves on the spine. So you could set it up and it would look like a book book. As always, I have the thing and the pen strap and the gusseted pocket here. Lovely little ribbon bookmark with the gold archer and olive ampersand on it and white dot grid pages. And here is the inside, oh, the end page. That's really, really beautiful. It's kind of a textured faux leather. You can see the texture probably better on the back side and you hand the front. Funny story. So in the church that I grew up in, our hymn books were all this, this color of green are very similar with this texture of faux leather. So if I'm just looking at it from the back, I'm like, oh, it's a hymn book. I always keep my Archer and Olive um, journals in the boxes until I'm ready to use them. That way they don't get dust all over them and, you know, that kind of thing. And there we go. Did you know that Archer and Olive is a women-owned business? Just saying. It's always good to support women-owned businesses. All right, so I was just about to take the lid off of this box and realized I hadn't hit the play button. I had to pause the video for a second, and I was like, crap, I almost blew it and didn't get you guys to see this with me. But we have two more A5 journals, and we're going to do this one next. It has this gorgeous green box. We really appreciate the effort they put into making their packaging beautiful and enticing. All right, what does this one look like? Ooh! <gasps> Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. So this is like a faux suede feeling. It's it's got that feel of the the soft soft suede versus leather. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I mean, look. Debossed here and then gold foiling here. There's the pocket and the pen loop and so on. Oh, oh, deckled edges. Can you see that? 
It's deckled edges. I have never had a bullet journal with deckled edges before. <gasps> yes, we love it. There's the ribbon bookmark, which, of course, is this navy blue. And inside is this gorgeous design here with some little rosebuds. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. <gasps> See, here's the thing. And Jess was talking about this on her channel, too, when um, she was opening up a bullet journal. If you have only one of a certain kind of journal, like, for example, with deckled edges, um then you're nervous to use it and I totally get that like what if I totally mess this up and I don't have any other journals with deckled edges and yeah that's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> and on to our last item we have a third a5 notebook I do really like the a5s I'm starting to like the b5s a lot too my my daily journal that I use is a b5 and my reading journal that I'm using this year is a square one but a5 is I think kind of like the classic size and I will always love that size okay again beautiful box and oh what 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 have you done Archer and Olive oh okay let's look at the back of the box this is a sketchbook 112 pages, 160 GSM craft pages. It's going to be craft paper. This is like a field notebook. Oh my, Lanta. That makes sense to go with the nature thing. Here is our design on the inside, little leaves. And we have craft paper, no dots, just plain because it is a sketchbook. We do have our pocket. No pen loop because it would get in the way of the closure. Now, that is beautiful. There is our ribbon bookmark there. Matches the color of the leather. Now, I'm assuming this is faux leather because that's what they use for all of their products. Wow. This is amazing. I love it. Amazing. I kind of feel like this would be a good one to take on a trip, like an adventurous trip somewhere. Maybe when I go to Vegas in December? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So we have one, two, three journals, two pages of stickers, the acrylographs, the acrylic transparent bookmark, the fountain pen, and the three colors of ink. And these four massive rolls of wide washi tape. I'd say I got my money's worth. Mm hmm I am so, so, so happy. Now, the only problem is that we have to wait three more months for the next box to come. I don't think I missed anything, but they do give me a coupon code for 15% off my next order, which is really nice. Um, if you're planning on ordering from Archer and Olive, let me give you a heads up. Um, they are moving to a new warehouse and there's going to be a couple of days during the month of March where you can only order digital items, um, but the physical items will not be available. I think you can order from them till March 17th, and this video might be even coming out after that because I'm not sure about my uploading schedule. Um, but it's only going to be a couple of days, and then you can m order more physical items. So I think on the 19th or 20th you can get physical items again. But there's, they said there may be a slight delay because they're getting used to their new warehouse and stuff, which is perfectly understandable. And they've been really good about communicating that in that, in their emails and that kind of stuff. So just FYI, if you want to purchase something from them, um, I know bullet journaling is, is not something that I always talk about in my channel, but I do dearly love it. I do it every day. Um, most of what you see on this channel is the bookish stuff and the junk journaling, but I do have a few, um, other bullet journaling videos and things if you're interested and some other Archer and Olive unboxings. So thanks for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed it and also enjoyed a look at the crazy Wyoming weather that we have going on and it still hasn't stopped snowing. Ah, what if I need to like go to the grocery store or something? Ah. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> so, again, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading, crafting, or journaling. Adios.